Hey guys, this is Cuts here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City, and check this out, guys. I mean, I've been looking forward to this one. I have a box of 2001-2002 Topps OPG Archives. Strive to do a deep dive. Let's go hive. Chop this puppy up like chives. And I have other boxes. I have that one in the background, which is a between the pipes. Uh, I've been threatening to do the prison blaster. You know, I have like boxes from 2009-10. Look at this, man. I have a rookie update from 2003-2004. Look at that flower, Patrick Otto. So guys, I've got some cool things to break. I do it because of the jubilance, the jubilance, and the jubilance. That's why I do it. I am the only guy who does these vintage boxes so consistently. You'll find no breaks of this uh, on YouTube or one break or two. That's it with these old products. So let's do it. Configuration, eight cards per pack, 20 packs per box, 160 cards total. Base sets only one through uh, 81. So we're gonna have a ton of dupes based on that math. With a box break, it says, it says online that they're five mem or autos, but when I break it down, it's a bit different. It might be six or seven, it depends. According to the checklist, it's seven hits. Uh, if you look at it more closely, because the relics are one in five, so that'd be four relics. There are arena seats. It says one in 10, so theoretically be two arena seats. Hopefully that comes true. Uh, 1.2 of the autos, because they're one in 17. There are auto proofs, which are a 1% hit. So I don't, I'm not sure if we're gonna hit those. But that checklist is uh, kind of small. It only has Dion, Marcel Dion has Bobby Clark, Podvin, and Guy Lafleur. Pulling a Guy Lafleur or a Serge Savard from a product like this would just be uh, wicked. Okay, so do remember to sub, like, hashtag Dryden, and ring the bell. I still have kept my contest open because I haven't packed up the box yet for the big shipping box I'm gonna give away. Uh, but do that, guys. And I'm starting to post some cards on eBay, so look out for that. Uh, so, oh, by the way, look at this. This would happen to be the checklist if you guys can take a bit of a glean. So this is the base set up to 81. It has my guard, has some random ones. It has Tim Horton. And there we would have the insert cards, which are reprint autos. Uh, so basically, the, this is a cool thing about this product. There, a lot of them are like rookie cards. They're mostly like rookie cards uh, reprinted, and some of them are autoed. Very, very, very nice. Although the relic, I'm not completely convinced that they are on the rookie card, the reprint rookie card. They might be on a different card. All right, man, so here we go. Look, oh, we, hit, we actually hit our first insert. We'll see what it is. I wouldn't mind a seat. So they do have seats from the old forum and stuff like that. So this would be Glenn Sather's rookie card. So man, oh man, are these cool looking cards and the backs of the cards are very similar from this year. We always, we remember these because it's the year after uh, Bobby Orr's rookie card year. This is his second year card. Stan Makita. Alex Del Vecchio, and these might stick a bit. Could be a bit of a problem. And there's the Tony O rookie card. Actually, I thought it was a relic, but these cards are sticking. So that's what that is. I have to sort of separate these guys out. Oh no, it is a relic. It's a relic, but it's behind it. So behind the Jacques Plante, that's a Jacques Plante. I know it's a Jacques Plante. It's not his rookie card. It's probably his first tops card because they don't have, I guess, Parkhurst ones. So this is the top set one. You guys probably are familiar with these as well. The Gary Unger, and who is our first hit? I think it's a relic of some sort. Might as well just turn it around. And who is it, guys? And look at this, it's a Bobby Smith. Very nice. So it's a Bobby Smith relic jersey. Very cool. So you see that would not be his rookie card. So Game Warren, he was a, he was a thing. He was on our Habs when they won the cup, I guess, in 87. And let's continue on, guys. I don't even know what to do with these cards. They're all horizontal. There's the Eddie Johnston, Westfall. There's the Bernie Perron rookie card. And here's the Daryl Sittler rookie card. I mean, amazing stuff. Dennis Podvin, Wayne Cashman. Oh, wow. Uh, Yvonne Cournoyer. And we have, oh, wow, is this ever cool. We have the Guy Lafleur uh, reprint rookie card right here. That is so nice. And I love how they separate the name because I think that's what the actual card looked like exactly. All right, I'm gonna have to hammer through it a lot quicker at this point because I'm picking my sweet time. So they are sticking, so I'm trying to separate them a bit. And so we have the Keith Magnuson, we have the Johnny Bauer. So again, that wouldn't be his rookie card, but I guess it would be his rookie card of this tops format. In other words, the first card that they printed uh, of his. And we have another relic here. So behind the Brian Prop, I have this card. I have a lot of these cards, actually. In the Wayne Cashman, we actually have our, our second relic. 
And who is our second relic? Oh man, I was, I, did I not call it? This is exactly what I wanted to hit. I actually hit a Montreal Forum seat. I'm guessing that's one of the white ones. That is very cool. So this is a piece of the Montreal Forum seat and it's a Serre Saval. That is wicked and it has the authentication on it. These are such cool cards, guys. Very, very neat. So I was really hoping to hit him, Le Maire or La Fleur. So there you go. Uh, he won the Con Smite, by the way. I think in the late 60s, if I'm uh, not wrong. All right, Harry Howell, Ullman, Gatsby, Mike Foligno, that's amazing. Lindy Ruff and J Joel Quenville. This is so cool. Darren Pang and Danny Gare. Darren Pang's pretty diminutive for a goaltender. And we have Mike Gartner, there's the Tim Horton, Red Kelly, Terry Sawchuk. Again, these are the first tops cards, so it's not necessarily all rookie cards. There's Pete Mahovlich, probably his rookie card. Rick Middleton and Johnny Busick. So most of those designs are the uh, early 60s designs or late 50s. So this is the Bobby Hull. There is no uh, Bobby or, or Gretzky or Mario, I believe in this. All right, so there is the Bobby Hull. So this is the 58-59 one. I've had opportunities to buy this card and I never bought it. Reggie Leach, Pierre Labouche, Bill Clement, McLeish, uh, Clark Gillies rookie card, and Pierre Pilot. Bobby Hull, of course, is in the 600 goal club. I think he's at 610. Places him top 20 all time, but he went off to the WHA. So, you know, he could have rivaled Gretzky had he played in the NHL the entire time. And there is the Grant Fuhrer rookie card. I have this, I have so many of these. Brian Mullen, there's the Steve Shutt, have that one too. Nick Fotu. Bathgate, Pat Lafontaine, we have Kenny Linsman. There's a rare Kenny Linsman auto in this that's a short print uh, that's actually kind of valued, which is weird. Mike Milbury, this is like what, the 77 uh, one? 77 and 76 look very similar. This is 77, 78. Glenn Sather, this is 78, 79. Uh, I actually know all of these, obviously, because I have all these sets. Milt, Milt Schmidt, and there is the Lorne Gump Worsley. That I believe is the 54 tops. There's the Sarah Savard, Glenn Hall. These are so wicked. Derek Sanderson, Vic Hadfield. And we have another one. Well, we have two turned around cards here. So one might be the auto and the other one might be the relic. I'm assuming this is the relic. And the relic is the Billy Smith rookie jersey card. That is sweet. That is very sweet. Actually, in separating the cards there for a second, I think I actually lost a little bit of that, unfortunately. They're very glossy, they're too glossy, and I can already see which, which one this one is. It would happen to be the Clark Gillies. Didn't he pass recently? That is amazing. What a beautiful auto with his number nine. He was a stud. He was an absolute stud. Amazing stuff. I love this, guys. What a beautiful auto with his number nine. And that, according to the checklist, that's actually a short print auto. It's one of the short prints. Bobby Hull's a short print too. So that's really, really cool. Uh, he did pass, he passed in, um, I think he passed in January, we had cancer. I mean, what a product where you can hit an auto and a Jersey Relic in the same pack. Andy Moak, Tim Kerr, Peter Stashney, there's a Larry Robinson rookie, very cool. Neil Broughton, Dale Hunter. He's definitely a favorite. Brian Trache, so that's the 76, 77. And Bobby Smith. Uh, Stan Mikita de Vecchio, there's a Tony Esposito. There's the Jacques Plante. Uh, of course, they wouldn't have an auto of his because he passed uh, really younger. And he was in his 50s, I think. He was in Switzerland, he had cancer. It was like stomach cancer. And that was in 86 that he died, unfortunately. All right, continuing on. Daryl Sittler, Podvin, Cashman, a lot of dupes. There's the Yvonne Colnoyer, there's the Flower. Dion, Brett Hull, and a young Jerry Cheevers, another Billy Smith, Bobby Clark, and these are every which way. Uh, Terry O'Reilly, he has, a, I think, a nice auto as well. Doug Wilson, Schultz, Jacques Lemaire, Bernie Federico, Kent Hodge. Wouldn't mind a Federico, wouldn't mind any one of these, actually. All of them are good. Mike Foligno, Lindy Ruff again, Kenville, <laughs> Darren Pang, I love it. Oh, we have, we have another relic here. So the question is, is it a seat or a jersey? Oh, I think it's a seat. All right, let's see who it is behind the Danny Gare. And no way, a second halves, uh, <laughs> two forum seats. So you, we can't know what color it is. I don't know what color seat it is because they just it just would. But very cool, we hit the Larry Robinson card. That is his rookie card too. That is really cool. That's very cool. So two halves for the two forum seats. 
two floor seats. Let's see if we hit another relic. I think we might hit another jersey or two. Mike Gardner, there's a Tim Horton again. These are still sticking. Red Kelly, Terry Sawchuck. Ron Lowe, a young Ron Lowe, Pete Mahovlich, brother of Frank, of course. And behind the Rick Middleton, we have a Johnny Busick. I can't get over how many inserts there are. Uh, hits that is Nick Fotu, Bathgate, Pat Lafontaine. Uh, we have a Kenny Linsman, Holmgren, and another another hit here. So let's see. Oh, it's Alex Del Vecchio. It's an Alex Del Vecchio jersey. That is wicked. That is very cool. Oh my god! And it's that's amazing. It's a lot like the jersey he's probably wearing. You know, like dated white. Very, very cool. That's a big deal. All right, continuing on. There's Mike Bossy, rookie card. Chico Resch, Guy Lapointe, Schmidt, and another Gump Worsley. The Johnny Bauer, Magnuson, John Ferguson Sr., Brian Prop, Ullman, and a Howell, as well as Gatsby. This is the 54, 55 tops. is one of the nicest sets in the hobby. Actually hard to buy because it's so perished. Right, there's the Larry Robinson rookie. I have that rookie card as well. Um, they only have it in one. It's They only have it in either the tops or, I think they only have it in the OPG. One or the other, I can't remember. Uh, Brian Trotchy, Bobby Hull, Bobby Smith, McNabb, and Leach. Last pack, guys. McLeish, Gillies again, Pelot, Grant Fuhrer, Brian Mullen, and the Steve Shutt. So that's basically it, guys. I love this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so good. It's amazing. So. Uh, by the way, I think there's a bit of an error in the checklist because it does say one in five for the jerseys. I think it's actually more like one in 6.7 for the jerseys. That's my best guess because I received six hits total. We're supposed to receive five according to the checklist, but if you go deeper into the checklist, it's we should receive seven, but I think it's actually you split the difference. There's a mistake with the jerseys. It's not one in five, it's one in 6.7. Anyways, I mean, you guys don't care. I do. Uh, but that's basically it, guys. Please be sure to sub, like, hashtag dried, and get into my draw. Oh, man, this is just, just, I can't wait for the other boxes I have to break, but that was fantastic. I'll be full cars, live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York City.